Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome, welcome everyone. Good evening. Good evening, good, good evening. evening, everybody. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, so a little tired. <laughs> okay. It is, it, it is same or late from It's the same, Monday. right? Right. It's the same. Sometimes the same. Uh, we are tired. Mm -hmm. And probably today is, is one of those days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome. Uh, we're going to start in a minute. Um, uh, we are going to wait um, just a little bit, maybe one more minute so more people can join to the meeting. So welcome everyone. It's good to see you one more time. Okay. Welcome, welcome everyone. Yesterday I I'm sorry. Richard, I, I remember yesterday uh, you told us told us about uh, your hobbies. Oh, you about said, my hobbies. You said you said uh, you ha you have a, a, a dog. Yes, I, I have a dog. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Uh, for me, this kind of dog uh, are, are dangerous. I don't know. Oh, you know, mine. It's very friendly. <laughs> friendly. Really? Yeah, very friendly. Yes. He's only one year old, so uh, I guess that's why he's uh, he's friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Many people uh, say this, this this dog is very dangerous. Yeah, I guess it depends how you raise it, uh, especially if you raise it in a way that is aggressive. Definitely, he's going to be aggressive. But uh, the one that I have, uh, well, he has some friends, some other dogs who are pitbull. And they are friendly. So that's why probably he grew up in that environment with uh, friendly dogs. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Fine. So, fine. yeah. Welcome. Welcome, Miguel. Welcome, uh, Luis, Fatima, Christopher, Adolfo, Jacqueline, Carla, and Osma, right? Welcome. Uh, Miguel, were you here yesterday, Miguel? Microphone is off. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? Uh, this good? Uh, estuvo con nosotros ayer. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Sí, sí. Oh, posiblemente quizás su cámara estaba apagada. Posiblemente por eso no lo conozco. Yes. Sí, <laughs> ah, la cámara okay. estaba apagada. Ah, ok, so welcome. Sí, casi, casi siempre mantengo la, la cámara apagada, pero, pero sí, sí estuve aquí. <laughs> ah, ok, ok, so welcome, welcome. Ok, um, so, um, how are you, Carla? Hi, teacher, and you? Um, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yes, just a little tired, I guess. But that that's usual, I guess. But we are ready to start learning today. So, um, how about you, Fatima? How are you today, Fatima? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Ah, I'm okay. Thank you. Um, um let me see, Luis Mesquita. How are you, Luis? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. So welcome. Welcome to the English class. Um, how about you, Miguel? And you. Well, well, Miguel is already here. Adolfo, how are you today, Adolfo? Oh, it's a nice day. I sleep all day because I work at night. <laughs> oh, okay. So now you are full of energy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, can you give us some energy? <laughs> I expect that because I work uh, from uh, six to six. Wow. Okay. So that's going to be a long shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 12 hours. Okay. Um, but, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the English class. Uh, how are you, Brian? Brian Javier? 
Brian. Hi, teacher. How Hi. are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Very good. Very good. How was your day? I'm a little tired and, and because of my work. Oh. Uh, it was. Uh, mm, tired <laughs> okay okay mm -hmm. okay um but welcome welcome i hope um i hope uh, you can stay with us until the end of the class <laughs> okay um uh good evening jacqueline stephanie how are you today jeff uh stephanie good evening teacher i'm great teacher oh nice okay. how was your day uh, i went to buy uh, the supermarket Oh. For 15 days, food for 15 wow. days. Wow, that should have been a lot of food, a lot of groceries. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, so welcome. Welcome, Miriam. How are you today, Miriam? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my, my day was uh, so tired because I did, I did a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, outside, outside my my house. Okay, okay. No, that's uh -huh. that's fine. That's fine. Okay. And the traffic and the traffic was terrible. I bet. I bet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the same happened here in this part of the country. Um, uh, they are fixing the, the 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 street to all the way to Perkin. I don't know if you know where Perkin is in Morazan. So from San Miguel to Perkin, they are they are fixing the, the street, and you can imagine how chaotic sometimes the traffic is. But but, but we are here. Mm -hmm. So welcome, Miriam. Welcome, Christopher. How are you today, Christopher? Hello, everyone. Good Hello, evening. I'm, I feel so tired because I work uh, from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And now I feel um, a headache. Oh. A headache because you need to drink I, water. I, mm -hmm. Yes. I, I, all, every day I, I commute from La Urdes to San Salvador. And... Mm. The, the highway Los Chorros is chaotic. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, it's good to have you here. So I hope, um, I hope um, um, it's just like a couple of minutes to go and then uh, the class is over. <laughs> but welcome, welcome, Christopher. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Okay, uh, also, Gen C, how are you, Gen C? Yvette? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, mister. Thanks. Oh, we were missing you here. We were like, what is Gen C? What is Gen C? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so uh thank you everyone um uh if i have any new student which i don't believe uh, well just uh to remind you that my name is pedro Asque. so welcome one more time welcome to the english class today we are going to continue learning about something that we started um yesterday do you remember that yesterday we were um, talking about complaints? Do you remember that? Complaints. Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Yes, wonderful. Yes, One wonderful. So today we are not going to talk about complaints, but we are going to talk about household short requests. What, what are some household shorts that you remember? Or do you, do you know what how household shorts are? Shorts is many, many things to do in the in house, but household sostener la casa. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Household shorts means any kind of activity that you need to do at home, like taking the garbage out, like sweeping, like um what, uh cooking picking up everything, etc. Those are some household shorts. And as you can see here, you can see um, some kids doing the laundry, some other fixing the carpet, some kind of vacuuming, uh, another one doing the what? I guess uh, they're drying, doing the laundry and doing the dishes. So those are some household shorts. 
All right. So um, what, is the uh, what is the objective for today's class? The objective for today's class is the student will be able to practice using two parts verbs to make requests. If you remember, yesterday we started, right? Comenzamos hablando de hablar de los two part verbs. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Yes? Yes. Ah, okay, good. So we are going to continue today talking more in deep about two part verbs. Okay. Okay, so I don't know, but I, I don't know if you remember this, but let me ask you the following question. Uh, what is the meaning of hang up? And can you tell me a sentence, please? Hang up. And tell me a sentence. I hang, I hang up my teacher. Okay. Okay. I hang up my t-shirt. Good. What about turn okay. down? Turn down. I turn down my TV every night. Ah, okay. Because of the neighbors or because of your family who are trying to sleep on the other room. Because the electricity is uh, very expensive. <laughs> oh, good trick. Buen truco ese. Good trick. All right. Thank you, Carla. What about pick up? What does pick up mean? Pick up. For example, uh, pick up your toys, pick up your clothes. Oh, good. Sweet. Thank pick you. Thank your, uh -huh, uh -huh. Pick up your shoes. I mean, okay. Like Thank this. you. Those are wonderful uh, examples that you just gave us. Or ga ga uh, game in this case. All right. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to play a short activity right now. I don't know if you have ever uh, done this activity, the alphabet game. What we are going to do, it's, um, okay. Probably you have written only one word, pero como ustedes están en intermedio dos, no van a escribir una palabra. You are going to write two words per each letter of the alphabet. Ok, so ahorita en este momento quiero que me escriban en, en a piece of paper o en your notebook, me coloquen desde la A hasta la Z, solamente A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Va. Todos, por favor, si tienen un piece of paper. Or un alphabet. Your... Sí, del alphabet, desde la A hasta la Z. Uh -huh. wow. Solo one la letra. Bo one word? No, 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 no. Listen to me. Uh, okay, oh, only... Right... Uh -huh. only the letter. Okay. Right now, yes. Only the letter, right now. The letter. Only the letter, yes. Okay. A, one line, A. Another line, B. Another line, C, and so on. Okay. Y me avisan cuando hayan, hayan escrito todas las letras desde la A hasta la Z. Y ahí sí vamos a hacer la actividad. Finished, teacher. Okay. Finished. Good, good. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, desde ahorita en adelante, quiero que escriban por cada letra dos palabras que comiencen con la misma letra. For example, look at the example that I have here. A, apple and airplane. What about B? B could be... No les puedo decir, ¿verdad? Pero vamos, ahorita quiero que escriban, por favor, por cada letra dos palabras que comiencen con la misma letra. Go. And let me know when you finish. Okay. I'm going to give bear, you. You can write bear. Yeah, yeah. Any yes. word. Cualquier palabra in English. Okay. Okay. Any word. Try not to look at the computer. I know andar buscando ahí en el internet. Try to do it with the words you know. Okay. In, in my mind, teacher. In my ah, mind. Okay. Yes. That's the best <laughs> computer ever. Hurry up and let me know. Let me know when you are about to finish.
How you doing? ¿Casi terminan? No yet. Okay, voy a contar hasta 10 and we're going to stop, okay? I'm going to count until 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, okay? Stop, please, stop. No worries if you didn't finish. No worries, okay? Vamos a ver. Okay, uh, let me see, let me see. Until what letter you got? Hasta qué letter llegaron? Mm -hmm. In my place. Letter? Uh, until, until letter P. Until letter P, okay. Anyone else? Hasta los todos, or only uh, a. Miriam? Huh? A. Letter R. A. Letter R, R. 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 Okay. Okay, a. letter K, A. Letter K. Letter A. Oh, letter A? No. No, E. Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I. I, I, I. I. Okay, letter I. Letter I. Okay, vamos a ver. Okay, vamos a ver. What do you have for letter A? Letter A, what do you have? All right, for me. Uh -huh. Appearance. Okay, good. So, in order to do it faster, vamos a, vamos a ver, I'm going to create breakout rooms and I would like you to share your, uh, your words uh, en grupos, para ver quién tiene de sus grupos uh, more words, okay? And I want you to compare, compare what you wrote on each of the given letters, okay? Here we go. I write only at the letter K. Okay. I say stop. Letter R, but only I only I can write one one, one word for letter. One word. Ah, okay. Okay. I I I write two words. I only when the letter I I only <laughs> remember one is one, but. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember other. <laughs> I put two two words, but in letter Q in R. Cada, de cada uno. Yes. For okay. example, letter B, in letter B, Jancy, boots and ball. Okay. In my case, bacon and bird. Okay. Um, think, Jancy, invent you some work in letter you B. You think now. Letter B, bug, and buster. Okay. And okay. you see, letter C, Carla. Carol and car. For me, cell phone and. One, uh, we can. We can. Uh, no sé cómo decir. Leer. We can write that. Read. The read. Word. Yeah, we can read, read that. Read, read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, in my case, for letter A, I have airplane and ant. Ant, eh, hormiga, ant. Oh. For B, I have book and benefits. I have fish and finish. Oh, really? Excellent. <laughs> And letter G, G, uh, how how do you pronounce gigante? Giant. 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 Uh -huh. Giant. 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 Okay. Giant. 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 Yes. Giant. And grocery. I have genius and glue. Okay. I have God and ghost. Uh, Cash. Cash for sure. Cashier, for example, cashier. Cash. Two words for me. Okay. 
the next, e? the next letter. E. e. In my case, easy English. English. <laughs> English. English. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. It's very easy. Nice. Mm, yes. And letter K. Letter K. Kilometers K. and I don't know. Key. Keys. 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 Okay. Yes, yes. Very easy. <laughs> for L, low and low. Okay, in my case, library and laundry. And you, Carlos, library, okay. library and laundry. Okay, a lawyer and liar. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Letter M. Okay. I, I am, yes, I invent more. We don't have. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and like, um, I don't know. Number? And noun. Number, noun. Um, no. Okay, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry I didn't give you enough time, probably. Uh, probably you didn't finish. Did you finish? No? Yes? No, let her no, teach, 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 teach. Oh. <laughs> I know, I, I, I could hear you were very excited, like sharing your words. But because of the time, I needed to stop the activity. But uh, but thank you for participating. You, I, I, I heard some of you laughing and having fun, sharing the unique words that you included for each of the given letters. All right. So let's wait for your classmates. Ellos no quieren regresar de nuevo. Ellos están allá todavía. Okay. So in yes. my in my in in my group was funny uh -huh. because. Uh, we we had uh, the same words. Oh, okay. For each letter, the same words. Wow, that's 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 cool. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not for all, but but for most of them. Most of them. Some letters. Uh, okay. So I guess everyone is back. Let me see. Yes, yes, everyone is back. Okay. So thank you, thank you for writing and sharing your sentences with your classmate and that way we can improve our what our um our vocabulary bank mm -hmm. all right so let's move on and let's continue uh, today as i mentioned before we are going to talk about what we are going to talk about uh, some household shorts right okay okay can you tell me can you tell me what you are seeing in the picture can you tell me that? What do you see in the picture? Cleaning with the vacuum. Okay. Cleaning or the vacuuming. Mm -hmm. What else? I can see I can see a family. Toys. Okay. Uh, okay, toys. What else? Mm -hmm. I can see a, a cat uh, <laughs> or, or a sofa. Yes, a cat. Okay, a cat on the sofa mm -hmm. or on the couch. The family. Uh -huh. The family uh, funny. Uh, are funny. Uh, cleaning. Funny to cleaning their house. Okay. Okay. Who is the babysitter? Who is the babysitter in there? Who is the babysitter? Uh oh. Uh -huh. We call the, the toys. Okay. I think the babysitter is the girl next to the window. <laughs> Why? 
Because everyone is red hair and she is black hair. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's a good observation. Yes. Okay, so what is the babysitter doing? What is she doing? What are the plans? Oh, yes. She is watering the plant. What are the plans? Yeah, the plan? rem remember that as you a repeat, noun. Uh, can you repeat, uh, teacher? Uh, yes. The, okay. The action? Yes. Uh, give me a second. I'm typing here. Water as a noun. It's water, you know, like this one. I do. Look. Yes. Yes. Okay. As I a water. A, I have a question. Uh, yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, how can I... I how can I know who is the baby? The noun, the oh, verb. Mm -hmm. Baby city, baby city. Oh, <laughs> but, well, to be honest, we don't know. We are just uh, making to some conclusions. And I'm pretty sure if I have a lawyer, si tengo algún abogado aquí, uh, they're really uh, like, they look at it and say, oh, hmm, that's weird. Why is it the girl by the window having a different color hair? Okay. But what about the other one? Why the, the woman and the other three children? Black hair. Okay, okay. Aha. That's mm -hmm. why probably we think okay. we are not 100% And the boys and, and her father, and his father too. Oh, do you Only think so? She, black hair. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's why we think. Mm -hmm. We think that the girl or the woman is the baby seater. Okay, the baby seater. All right. So, um, water. Uh -huh. Water as a noun is agua. Y water como verbo is regar. For example, if you have a garden, you water the garden. Si usted dice, pero qué raro, ¿cómo está la mujer aguando? <laughs> la mujer aguando el jardín. Well, if you, ha, if you are from the countryside, aguar significa en el área de agricultura, ¿qué significa? Aguar. Does anybody know? Okay, it's when you have the caro, the caro, ¿saben qué es caro? Caro. Ganado, la vaca, lo, lo, la vaca, los toros, el ganado. When you take the caro to the river and they go and drink. Por eso la gente dice, Tengo que aguar las vacas. Aguar significa como darle, darles agua. Probablemente aguar viene de, viene, viene de water, posible, possibly. We don't know. Aguar, water, aguar, water. I don't know if you are following me. But yeah, okay. So, um, yes, so today we're going to be talking about household shorts. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Yesterday, do you remember that we very quickly reviewed this part? Do you remember? Very quickly at the end of the class, we reviewed this part. Okay, and I said that we have two part verbs. Two, okay, it's here. Two part verbs. And why is it called two part verbs? Because it has two parts, okay? As I said yesterday, right? The verb and the pa and the particle. Remember, turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Okay. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. Okay. Se acuerdan que vimos eso ayer? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right. Si ustedes pueden I have ver... a question. Yes. Don't change the uh, sen el sentido de las palabras when you change the order. Nope, nope. Mm -hmm. Para nada. It's the same. Ajá, para nada. It's the same. It keeps the same meaning. Just be careful. No pueden decir, por ejemplo, acá, when you are using the two-part phrase with pronouns, por ejemplo, pronouns, if you are using a pronoun, como en el caso de it, always, always, it will go in the middle, va a ir en, 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 la, en medio, ok, in the middle, never at the end, ¿sí? nunca al final, ok, ¿cuándo es que no debo colocar al final? pero cuando estoy utilizando pronouns, pronombres, ok, for example, pick them up, 
¿A qué creen que se refiere them? ¿A qué creen que se refiere them? Uh -huh. Sí. Algo de... Ah, they sí. could be toys. They can be, uh, I don't know, shoes. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Toads. Toys, dolls, etc. Pick them up. Ok, pick them up. All right. Ok, pick them up. All right. Mm. Ah, creo que alguien está escribiendo en el, en el grupo. No sé quién es que está escribiendo en el grupo. ¿Alguien, alguien puede verificar, por favor? Thank you. Ok. And I said yesterday. Uh, Someone has problems with the internet. So, ah, ok. A... Ah, ok. Mm, well, well, ok. Um, when we are using requests, we can use the word please. Ok. Please. That will sound more polite, okay? More polite. For example, please turn down the music. Okay, alternate. Si ve, aquí está el pronombre. El pronombre is referring to the music, okay? I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them. Se refiere a qué? A clothes. Okay, a close. All right. Okay, let's continue. Um, no worries if you have any question because the next coming slides are going to explain more this topic. Okay, continuemos. Okay, alguien, no recuerdo quién me preguntaba, uh, Mister o teacher, ¿por qué? Uh, ¿Por qué? Um, ¿Por qué se le llama partícula? Alguien me preguntaba el día de ayer. Yes, I guess it was okay. Jancy, right? Jancy, okay. Yes, so, yes. when we have a two-part verbs or phrasal verbs, frases verbales, a, a phrasal verb is composed by, está compuesta de a verb and a particle, okay? Look at this example. The example put off. Put off, okay? Que significa to postpone, okay, put off. For example, you say, oh, I need to put off the meeting. I need to put off my phone call. I need to put off whatever, right? Posponer, okay. Look at the example, postpone, uh, put off. Put, it's a verb, and off, it's what? Come on, que es off? Particle. Oh, yes, un particle, ah, una particle. particle. Particle, yes. If you see, two part verbs can change in meaning. So only the verb put means to place. Pero si ya le agrego la partícula of, the meaning changes. The meaning is to postpone. Okay? ¿Estamos claros hasta este momento? Are we clear so far? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, remember, si tienen cualquier pregunta, me pueden detener. Mr. Teacher, I have a question. Ustedes me pueden detener. Okay. Vamos. Two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, it is usually possible to put this before the particle. Okay. Look, what he's saying here is, si el objeto es un nombre, es posible que lo coloque en medio. ¿En medio de qué? en medio del verbo y en medio del parico. ¿Ok? The noise walk the giant up. Or, también puede ser, the noise walk up the giant. ¿Hay algún cambio en el meaning? No. The meaning is the same. So the rule says that I can put it, lo puedo colocar antes de la partícula o después de la partícula. Y el significado es el mismo. ¿Ok? Es el mismo. All right. What is the meaning wake up? What is it? Oh, woke up? Woke up. Woke up? It's oh. the past of uh, wake up. It's the past of uh -huh, wake up. Yes, it's the okay. el pasado okay. de wake up. Wake up, woke up. Waking up, el, particip el participio. Waking up. Okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next. 
two part verbs with pronouns. Um, it says, but, pero, if the object is a pronoun, okay, aquí hay una, una, si es un pronombre, ¿se acuerdan que ya decía nombre, verdad? Si era nombre, yo lo podía colocar before or after. Pero aquí dice, but if the object is a pronoun, it must, no dice, it may be, it dice, it must come before the particle. Antes, look, him, it, her. No puedo decir, por ejemplo, call back her. No, 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 no. No puedo decir, he keeps putting off it. No, no, no. No puedo decir, pick up him. ¿Ok? No puedo decir, pick up him. No, no, no. I can say, pick him up. Pick him up. He keeps putting off. Call her back. Ok. ¿Seguimos claro ahí? Yes. I got it. Ok. Thank you. Ok. You know that if we have only one verb, basado en el verbo pueden haber muchísimos, muchísimos phrasal verbs. Por ejemplo, el verbo es take. Y mire, tiene muchas phrasal verbs. Like take over, take off, take after, take down, take in, take up, take out, take on. Y el significado es diferente para todos. Si usted me puede decir, teacher, ¿y cómo hago para aprendérmelas todas? Hay una infinidad de phrasal verbs. Y no solamente con el verbo take. Hay, hay, hay phrasal verbs con el verbo do, con el verbo look, con el verbo go, with the ver uh, ¿cuál otro verbo? Anyway, there are many, many ones. ¿Ok? Hay muchísimos. All right. Okay, so what are we going to do today? We are going to practice based on the, and the phrasal verbs and we are going to choose what? Vamos a escoger uno o más. One or more example. Look at this example. Pick up the toys, please. What sería turn? Mm -hmm. Turn what? Miren, miren a radio. The music of the, the music or ah, TV. Uh, it could be the turn music. the radio, turn, turn the, the TV. TV. Okay, I recommend oh, you no. to use the examples that we have here. Of course, there might be more examples with other things, but try to use the examples that I have here. All right? So, así que por favor, um, I would like you to, I'm sorry, I would like you to think about it and type one by one in the chat. O en el cuaderno. Ustedes lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno. Okay? Do it in, the, in your notebook. And then I'm going to choose one or two of you to read the sentence. Okay? Okay? Trabajen en su cuaderno. Y luego yo les pregunto. Y miren el ejemplo, ahí está, ve. En este caso, pick up the toys, please. Puede ser turn the music off o turn the TV off o turn the lights off, etc.
Ok, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Ya vamos varias ya? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, number six. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, once you finish, let me know and we can compare. Vamos a comparar las respuestas que tenemos. Al abuelo, ahí adentro está. Sorry. No, that's fine. No worries. It happens. I finished the job. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. Vamos a ver quién más termina. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Además de Jensi, right? Is it Jensi or who said finished? Or medium? Ah, uh, medium. Medium picture. Oh, 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 I okay. say. Okay. Finish. Okay, good, good, good. Vaya, eh, did we finish? Terminamos todos. Terminamos. Yeah. Okay, vamos a ver a uh, number two. Vamos a ver aquí en el chat, aquí tenemos Miguel Antonio, number two. What do you have for number two, Miguel? Number two, uh, turn the music off, please. Okay, uh, thank you, Miguel. Solo para mencionar, ¿verdad? Se puede aplicar, hay varios acá que pueden, pueden aplicar, okay? Okay, hay varios. The music, the TV. The TV and the, and the what? The music, the TV and the... The what? I don't know. The lights. The lights. The lights. The lights. Las luces. Okay, okay good. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline. It's no, it's true. Yes, number three, Jacqueline. Number three. Jacqueline and Stephanie. <laughs> okay, teacher. Clean up your boots, please. Ah, okay. Thank you. ¿Qué más se puede hacer con clean up? Okay. Mm -hmm, thank you. Uh, what job. else can... Huh? The yard. The yard. The yard. The yard. Okay, good. Your, your jacket. Oh, your jacket. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver. Luis Mesquita, number four. Number four. Uh, please put them. We have to the trash, but I think it's. Please put the. Vaya. Please let's your, start. Your away. Okay. ¿Qué significa put away? Put away. Okay. Let's start from that. What does put um, away mean? Sacarlo. ¿Qué? Sacarlo. Uh, colocarlo. Yeah. Okay. Guardarlo Afuera. o colocarlo. Ajá. Guardarlo o colocarlo en un lugar lejos. Okay. Guardar o colocar todo. Arreglar todo. Put away. Okay, so number four could be... Yeah. Uh -huh. Toys. Oh, please put away. Put the what? Put the what? The toys away? Uh-huh, yeah, you box, can say put the, the, yard. The, the yard. The boots. What else? The yard. The boots. The, the yard. Trash. The trash. Uh -huh. The trash. Mm, uh, with that one, put away the trash? I don't think so because... Every time we see put away, significa que es como guardar, como guardar, pero largo, arreglar algo que está desordenado y colocarlo en un lugar bonito, put away. Uh -huh. Entonces, probably uh, with the uh, trash, uh, mm, no creo the que trash iría. Trash is take out, take out, really? Take out, yes, take out. Okay, so number four, it could be put away the toys, the books, uh, the yard, etc. All right. Vamos a ver quién. Carlos Membreño, number five. I, I think please turn down the music or the TV. Okay, good. 
Number six, uh, Laura Gabriela, number six. Please take off your boots. Oh, okay, good, good. Please take off your boots. Okay, nice. Number seven, Can get a, can, who wants to read number seven for me? Carla Alberghe, thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. hand, hand your jacket up, please. Okay, hang your jacket up, please. Osman, number eight. Osman? Please trash, trash. Okay, pero uh, can you read the sentence for me, please? Please take out, take out, take out, take out the, the trash. Take out, yeah, take out. Take, take out, out the trash. Take out the trash. Take out. Okay. Take what else can out. I use in number eight? Can I suppose to listen to number eight besides the trash? Please take out the cat. Ah, yeah, the cat. Yes. Number nine. Can we get a little number, number nine? Who? Miriam, teacher. Okay, Miriam. Okay, good. Please. Number nine. Okay. For example, please let the dog out. Or please let the cut out oh okay good thank you okay thank you what about uh number 10 a volunteer number 10 turn on the lights please turn on the lights please uh-huh turn on what else turn on the music please turn, turn the music uh-huh turn on the tv please turn on the tv please ah good turn on Turn on your cell phone, please. Turn on the cell phone, please. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so now, now you know how to make some household short requests. Ahora pueden decirle a alguien que, que limpie, que recoja, que saque la basura. So now you know how to do that. All right. Vamos a ver. Let's continue. We have, uh, we have 11 minutes to go. Okay. Tenemos todavía tiempo para hacer oraciones. Okay, good. What about now? Find a phrase that is usually paired with each two-part verbs. Some phrases go, go with more than one verb. Then add one more phrase for each verb. El primero, el primer ejemplo, vamos, vamos a ver. Clean up. ¿Qué puedo clean up de todo esto que está acá? Clean up. Mm -hmm. The towels. Mm. Mess microwave. Okay. Uh, the towels. En español puede ser que sí puedo decir voy a limpiar las, ta las toallas. Pero en inglés doesn't really. Mm, wash. It doesn't really. Yeah. Do the laundry wash, or wash, maybe wash. Wash the towel. See. Mm -hmm. Pero en este caso clean, clean up. Clean up the microwave. The microwave. Maybe it's kind of greasy. The mess. There are a lot. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Clean up the mess. What else? Clean up the what? Garbage. The gar. Puede limpiar la basura. You can. Not no. Okay, yes, mire, en, es, ajá, en español si usted me dice clean up the garbage es como que saque, okay. Tengo esta cáscara de huevo y comienzo a limpiarla, ¿ok? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Maybe okay. clean uh -huh. up your laptop. Oh, yes. Clean up your laptop. What about your mm. room? Clean up your room. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm. Good. What about hang up? Hang up. Hang up what? Hang up your coat. Hang up your coat. Hang up the towels. Towels. The towels. Towels. Oh, yes. Hang, Hang up, up your towels. towels. Okay. Good. Towels. Very good. What about pick up? Pick up. Pick up. Garbage. What is it? Magazine. Pick up the garbage. Pick up the garbage. Okay. Uh -huh. The magazine. What else? Your coat. Okay, my coats. Uh -huh. You can think about, no. for example, your house. What things can you say hang up or pick up? Pick up in this case. Pick up. The towel. Uh -huh. Oh, the towels. ¿Qué más podemos decir que se necesitan recoger? The toys. Pick up your toys. Oh, your yeah. Books. Shoes. Your shoes. Oh, pick your, up shoes. your shoes. Pick up your shoes. 
o pick up sometimes Delicious. if you are in the hammock. Si está en la hamaca, ring, ring, ring. And you're drinking water. <laughs> and the, the, the glass, you put it on the floor. Do okay, the glass. Ajá. No dishes, but glass. Glass. How do you say, recoge tus platos? Oh, oh, that would be uh, the plates or pick up the plates. Ah. The plates. Vale. Los platos, plates. Vale. Uh -huh. Also, ¿sabían que plates significa también, no solamente platos, sino que también significa, let me know, vamos a ver si saben. Yes. Uh, lugares, no, plates. No, plate, plate, plate. plates. Plate. Ajá. Plate significa uh, plato o platos, ¿verdad? En, 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 en plural. Pero también plate significa uh, in your car, the number in your car, run, 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 in your car, in the back, there is a number over there. Placa, placa de carro también. Okay. Plate también significa ah, yeah. placa, placa de carro. No, no, no. Okay. 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 Placa. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. What about put away? Tell me. Put away. What can you put away? No way. The magazines. Colocar? The Your magazines. Mm -hmm. What else? The magazines. Your clothes. Your laptop. My clothes. Uh huh. Your laptop, etc. All right. Good. What about take? What about take out? Mm -hmm. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Okay, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? What the meaning of Your the coach? mess, teacher? What is it? What the meaning of the mess or the miss? I don't know. Oh, the mess. El desorden. Message? Oh, okay. Ah, good. Okay. That's a, okay. Vamos a aprender algo nuevo hoy. Okay. Mess. Es desorden. En Messi, Messi, desordenado. Messi es un desordenado. No es Messi the best, uh, the best soccer player in the world. Okay. Okay. okay Messi. Okay. Messi es desordenado. For example, uh, if you have a child, si tiene un hijo, you, say, you are very messy. Please pick up everything. Yes. I don't want to see the, the I don't want to see the toys. I don't want to see the remote controls. I don't see the I don't want to see the plates. Pick up everything. I'm just training. Yo estoy uh, um, entrenando cuando mi hija esté grande. Yes. Yeah. Messi. You, yeah. you sound teacher. Yes. You sounds like you sounds like me. Oh. <laughs> With my granddaughter. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, like, oh, no, no quiero ver nada. I don't want to see anything. Pick up everything. Put away the toys. Put away everything because we are going to have visitors. Van a tener visitas en la casa. A guardar todo. So that's what you say, right? Pick up everything. Put away <laughs> that. Clean up that. Take out that. Okay, that's good. So now, now you know how to do or how to ask household shorts. Okay, good. What about throw out? Throw out. Guess what is throw mean, out. out. Yes. What is what is throw know. out? Tirar. Tirar. ¿Ah? Tirar. Tirar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero también Tirar. tiene. Vomitar. También Tirar. significa. Tirar. Yes. Vomitar. vomitar. Yes. También significa Tirar. vomitar. Especially if you have a hangover. You know what a hangover is, right? Hangover. What is hangover? Hang... ¿Ah? Exacto. <ríe> Me pregunto, ¿por qué será Toma, que no saben? ¿Por qué será que... It's a movie. Ah, hangover porque... is a movie. Ajá, yo digo, ¿por qué será que saben ellos? I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. Hangover. Ajá. <ríe> una resaca, una cruda. So, after a hangover, after, después de una resaca, what do you have? Esa es una pregunta en general, right? No es que ustedes tengan. What do you have after a hangover? <laughs> you no, you no. thrown out. You are throwing out. Okay? And that throwing. context. Uh -huh, throwing. Throwing out. Como es, you are throwing out. Está en presente continuo. Allí. Mm -hmm. Throwing out. Okay. What, what is about the meaning of throw? Throw out. 
Ah, en este caso, si estamos hablando de house, house o short, si estamos hablando en este contexto de sacar o tirar, tirar todo lo que nos sirve. Me dice usted, por ejemplo, le dice a su hija, me va a tirar ese juguete viejo ahí ya. So, throwing out, ¿sí? Throwing out, throw out, tirar. Ok, imagínense que este vaso, imagine this, uh, this glass is not working anymore. So, I'm going to throw out, I'm going to throw it out. Lo voy a tirar. Uh -huh. Ok. And what is the difference between throw out and throw away? It's the same oh, meaning. It's the same meaning. Mm -hmm. Solo que, uh, what changes is the, the particle. Ok. Por, por ejemplo, throw out es como tirarlo afuera. O, y el throw away es tirarlo lejos. Sí, throw away. Tirarlo, pero lejísimo. Y a veces le dicen, tirarlo tan lejos que no lo quiero volver a ver. I don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> ok. All right, so vamos a ver. Turn on and tur uh, turn off, you know that, right? Turn off and turn on, so I, I don't want to spend time on that. Okay, good. So to conclude, we end up right now the class. Tell me a sentence using a phrasal verb. Go to the chat and tell me a phrasal verb, a sentence. Mm -hmm. Imagínense que ustedes quieren decirle a alguien de su familia que haga algo. Por favor, coloquen el nombre de esa persona y escriben la oración en el chat. Vamos a ver, en mi caso, vamos a ver en mi caso. Please, put away the toys. That's my example. What about your example? Vamos a ver. Quiero leer dos, tres ej ejemplos. Uh -huh. Oh, y recuerden, para terminar, mañana tenemos clase. Do not forget that. Ok, tenemos clase mañana. No se les olvide. Sí, ya le vi la cara. Ay, oh, clases. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver, Carlos Membreño. Can you turn down the TV? Excelente. Laura Gabriela, Ariana, please turn the lights off. Yes, electricity is too expensive. Osman. Please hang up the pants. Ok, good. Otro ejemplo. Vamos a ver. Juan, please hang up the call. Ajá. <laughs> good. My brother. Brother, can you pick up that? Emilio, please turn the TV off. Ok. Maria, please take off the trash. Take off. Hmm. Take out. Take out. Because take off es como quitárselo. Imagínense que anda encima de la basura y lo está quitando. Ok. Vamos a ver, please turn off your PC, clean up your bed. Ok, awesome. Thank you. Ok, so thank you so much. Uh, we got to the end of the class. So thank you so much. Ok, let me see, Fatima. Let out the dog. Uh, let it down. Ok, let it down. Ok, good. Ok, I want to say thank you so much for coming to my class today. I hope uh, you learned something new today. Ahora ya pueden regañar a su familia en inglés y decirle, hagan esto, hagan lo otro en inglés, right? You know how to do say that. How to do it and how to say it, right? Así que ahora vamos a practicar eso con su sobrino, con su hermana, con su tía, aunque no lo entiendan, pero practiquen. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. I really appreciate that you are here. And hopefully, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye, teacher.